differently, but Donut definitely has been doing their homework, and it it shows. And here we go. We're going to be jumping into the next game, guys, in this upper bracket, which is Method versus Valido versus Jeff. That's a lot of verses in that sentence, but here we go. Method now picking up Venruki for their all-star roster. Venruki on that Frost Mage as well as all the other classes he plays. Smexin on the Arms Warrior. Seedu representing the Shaman as well as the Holy Paladin we've seen him play in GPL. And we know he has that Druid available to him as well. And Snuts, of course, playing that Warlock. But we also have seen him play that Rogue as well. Snuts are representing for Method. And they're going up against Valido versus Jeff. Which consists of Valido on that Death Knight, Trill TKO on the Windwalker Monk, Maldiva on the Warlock, and Wong playing a lot of different healers. Mostly Holy Paladin, but we've seen him on Shaman, we've seen him on Disc Priest. He's a, he is a special one, that one. He's got a whole bunch of different healers available to him, which is actually the coolest thing ever. But these guys are going head-to-head -head here oh. in round one of the upper bracket. There's really interesting matchup between these teams, because if Method assumes Windwalker DK... They don't want to play WLS. Right. But what do they play instead? They could play Mage Lock Paladin with Venruki Snuts and Sidu. That could do really well. It's not like they're not um, inexperienced however, at that comp. I mean. Yeah. But but if they play Mage Lock Paladin and for some reason um, Valido's team plays with Maldiva and they play DK Lock Paladin, oh. does DK Lock Paladin beat Mage Lock Paladin? There's a whole bunch of mind games going on in the compositions from both these teams, I think. I mean, uh, that's what happens when you have a whole bunch of, of players who multi-class on a team. It gets real interesting in game number one in this blind pick. Venruki, he has that Windwalker. I mean, they also have Windwalker, Lock Shaman available to them. I mean, they have a whole bunch of weird stuff that we don't really know the, uh, the composition matchup all that well. Uh, these players probably know each other, but at the same time with that Shaman, that DK, it's not, like, we've seen that, uh, Jeff play that quite a bit, like, that Shadow Cleave composition, but we don't really see that all that much in these tournament scenarios and those weird matchups, but we're gonna, fi we're gonna find out right here, right now, what composition these teams are gonna be running on a Grand Arena, game number one, I'll see you all in a hot minute. Alright, welcome to Negrand Arena. It's Method running the Warrior Lock Shaman that they did so well in tournament number four with actually becoming tournament number four champions going up against Valido versus Jeff's Windwalker DK Holy Pally composition. And uh, you know, if I'm on Valido versus Jeff's side of the of the arena right now and I'm sitting in this starting room and I'm looking at the enemy team, the only thing I see is a blue. That's the only thing I yeah. see. I feel like CD's team is like, okay, we won with this, so like if it ain't broken, don't fix it. So they're just going to lead with it and see how well they can do. But I definitely think that Valido's team should be advantaged here. Sidu looking for an early hex. Gets that off the charge down onto Chill TKO. Going to slow down his momentum for a little bit here. Um, but Chill TKO right on top of Sidu. Vincent Wong on top of him as well. They're looking to start this assault. Uh, Valido, though, onto Snuts uh, early on here. He's going to get Shadow Fury. Full Warrior Fury over onto Vincent Wong. Sidu kind of the likes of getting soloed by Chill TKO. So much damage coming out onto Sidu right now. He's trying to recover. Defensive fears over onto the Windwalker Monk from Snuts. But Snuts is rotting down. It seems like this Windwalker DK is going for a split deep. PS strategy here. Saved by the Light is going to proc onto Valido. Smexin doing a lot of damage with that avatar already cutting through it. Colossus smashes up. Smexin's trying to finish him off here. Vincent Wong forced to aura mastery. Sidu caught into that strangulate. Trill TKO. Cheat torpedo. Cheat torpedo. Trying to finish him off. Sidu's going to gate to the opposite side. Valido, though, should be able to reconnect here. He still has an interrupt to stop some incoming heal. Sidu's forced to aura mastery. He doesn't want to get caught in a fist of fury and get clotheslined here. Full storm blow over on a Vincent Wong. Trill TKO is rotting down. Gets caught into the charge on Full fear on a Vincent Wong. He's going to trinket. Pop his avenging wrath. Saved by the lights for everybody here as they proc onto the entire team. Smexin's with that recklessness up, trying to make something happen. Sidu caught into that full fist of justice. Snuts getting pressured as well by Valido. He's forced to pop that dark regeneration. Even Vincent Wong just cheeky damage coming out from the Paladin. Onto Snuts, Soul Reapers up. Rallying Cry is going to proc. He's forced to drop the Spirit Link. And now Sidu is in a lot of trouble. He still has that Trinket Link, but there's so much damage coming out from Valido versus Jeff. Snuts gets a nice spear onto Vincent Wong. Trill TKO getting pressured. He's going to need to Karma here shortly. Maybe he disconnected or something. He's just standing there. 
I think there might be a little bit of a technical problem for our, our Windwalker friend. Oh my goodness, poor Valido versus Jeff. They had so much momentum. They were doing absurd amounts of damage, but Trill TKO is not moving. I'm not sure what's going wrong with him. c actually getting hodged up, and it looks like Valido versus Jeff is still going in. They're still trying to make something happen here. Uh, but Valido taking a whole bunch of pressure. Save of the Light's going to proc onto him, and the fear goes out onto Vincent Wong. This is just a 2v3 situation. Can they survive in time for Trill TKO to come back and play? And it looks like method is going to take down Valido in game number one here and uh, Trill TKO was unable to come back and compete very unfortunate yeah it wasn't I mean he still had karma it looks like he still had his fortifying brew he had a lot of stuff to stay aggressive on Sidu and they already got to dark region it's curious to see Valido's team playing a split strategy that way if um, what often happens against like these cleaves is the healers you play overly defensive so you put yourself really far from your team and then if the cleave decides to split their damage up, then suddenly you're like, oh, Snuts can actually die. I have to come back. And then you have, then you come back and you end up overusing cooldowns. But if you're not playing overly defensive, then you can get clotheslined as well by the cleave. So it's it's a hard decision to make. Um, I mean, they traded the cooldowns out. They didn't go down, but they were definitely falling behind, I think, before Chill TKO. I can't load out either. <laughs> I, I'm even my like, yeah, that was really weird. My, my load screen is actually not moving but uh there you go method is going to take game number one there and you know that i don't know they were pressured quite heavily c still had a lot of uh defensive cooldowns to rotate through uh left left but uh i don't know this windwalker dk they definitely figured out a, a, that split strategy seemed to be working so very well for them it was just making it really hard for snuts to take control of the game uh making it very hard for c to get those free casts as well and uh we're gonna see what these two teams are gonna be running in game number two here knowing uh that being said, Method is the winner, so uh, Valido versus Jeff is going to be able to choose their composition accordingly to what it is that they're facing in game number two here. So we might see a composition change come out from them. We're going to find out here in a quick, hot minute. Uh, and I'm going to see what the admin says about what happened in that last game, specifically it's with Trill TKO. We've seen Shadow Cleave do really well with like initial pressure against Shaman teams. So I'm, I don't know if it would be the end of the world if they're forced to play Maldiva instead of Trill TKO. Um, but it looked like Smexon's team wanted to wait, but Valido was, I guess Valido knew like, okay, there's no way he's coming back. I'm just going to keep trying or something. Yeah. Because he just kept going <laughs> even after they tried to wait. So, I mean, obviously, I guess Valido knew that he wasn't going to be able to get back. So he just wanted to try and win 2v3 and not going to work. Yeah. There's a little bit of confusion in the chat, just so you guys know, in our rules, because obviously there's no pause in World of Warcraft arenas, and uh, defensive cooldowns and offensive cooldowns can be used in mere seconds. Um, we actually do not allow replays as soon as those gates open. If those gates, if you're lagging or something going wrong and you're still inside the arena, inside those doors, um, you can definitely leave and we can reset the game, but unfortunately as soon as those gates open, it's free reign. So... It's very unfortunate that that technical issue did occur. We're going to be jumping into the game here very, very shortly. Apparently, there is a snowstorm in Philadelphia where Trill lives, and he's restarting his PC. Oh, my gosh. The snow. The curse is snow. I was actually really scared that our broadcast was going to go down because of the snowstorm that's here in Atlanta. Uh, but, you know, it wasn't nearly as bad as all the locals were saying it was going to be. People down, the people down here, I'm, me and Hannah, we're, we're from Northeast. We're from New York. And so when we came down here to Georgia, uh, a lot of people were saying, oh, there's still lots of snowstorms. And, uh, you know, it hasn't really been that many snowstorms, but there's been a whole lot of black ice, which is just as scary, to be honest with you. But um, so far, so good. I've been, like, really enjoying Georgia so far. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. But going back to the games... We are still in the series Method versus Valido versus Jeff. That's so I I it's it, I've become so good at saying it now, but it still just feels wrong to me to say to say it. It's almost confusing. It is wrong. We should not allow them to have that name anymore. Valido versus Jeff. Method versus Twitch chat. Do you agree? <laughs> Did we boycott their name and force them to change it? Yeah, I, I feel like Valido versus Jeff is very confusing but you know Vincent Wong he is so adamant on this name he's got his own logos and this and that they're very goofy looking but still um, he, he loves this name so we're gonna have to pry it out of his cold dead hands I think but I don't know maybe maybe next why do you have to call it black ice cuz I can't cuz it's, it's black is ice cuz asphalt is black and when you look through ice it's see-through and you only <laughs> see black 
<laughs> yeah, the, the science actually behind black ice is kind of crazy. Like the the way that it works is like the snow falling on the water that that hasn't frozen yet, and it freezes so quickly that it's completely clear. It's uh, it's actually evil. Black ice is just. I've been uh, in a lot of car accidents because of black ice. At like very low speeds, I'll just be pulling into my driveway going like two miles an hour, and my car just randomly just won't stop anymore. And I'll just drive into a tree very, very slowly. But uh, here we go, guys. The games are finally ready. It's Ruins of Order on. Welcome to Ruins of Order on Lido versus Jeff's home base to taking down the Blues. Can Method survive the onslaught of Windwalker DK on a small map like this? We're going to find out. We're going to find out. I'm interested to see if on a small map like this they're going to stick with the same strategy to split. Can Trump take AS computer survive the snowstorm? <laughs> that is a better question. That is the if better question. If computer can survive the snowstorm, I think that game was going pretty well for them. Um, Runes Lordaeron is going to allow them a lot more pressure on Sidhu as well. He's going to have to be very careful here. He needs to get a good gateway off. They're going to have to make sure that he doesn't get gripped back on it. Bolito charging in over onto Snuts to start out with. Uh, Chiltikeo trying to get onto Sidhu. He already got a hex on him, trying to slow down his momentum a little bit here. And now we see Smexen chopping up Chiltikeo as that Colossus Smash goes up. A lot of damage following it up. Smexen just tearing him apart, down to 28% HP. Now we see the Pillar of Frost. We see the offensive and defensive touch of Karma onto Sidhu. Chiltikeo just soloing him. Bolito's going to connect as well. Sidhu drops the Windwalk. He drops the Link. His entire team rotting down. Vincent Wong pops the Avenging Wrath. They're going all in on the Sidhu. He's going to pop the Ascent. He pops the ore master. He should be able to top the team. Nice denounce from Vincent Wong. He's going to stop Sidhu from critting on his heels. He needs to get to the gateway. He needs to portal to the other side. He gates back to the tomb. They do manage to stop. They don't stop the grip. Valido is going to be able to grip Sidhu back. He could be in a lot of trouble. At the same time, Trill caught into the storm bolt, forced to trick it out. Sidhu under fire, caught in that full fist of justice. He's going to trick it out. Smacks and caught into the fist of fury. He's going to trick it out. And suddenly, nobody has any trinkets. The next stun could easily be the game here. Are they just going to go for the half yard stun? Is the question. Sidhu drops the link preemptively, trying to predict the stuns. But they're holding on to the stun, and the next stun is going to be the game. Sidhu has to fake the interrupts. He's just not getting them. He's getting trained down so hard at the moment by Valido and Trill TKO. Trill TKO, though, is running out of cooldowns as well. Uh, but Vincent Wong still has that bubble. They can easily just bubble in, run on top of Sidhu, and train him into the ground. But nope, the snowstorm is going to claim victory over Trill TKO again. No, they had so much momentum. That's so unfortunate. Trill TKO, why? Um, but there we are. It looks like they're actually going to be waiting this time to see if Trill TKO can come back into the game. These games have been so good. Why does this have to happen? Snowstorm OP. All right. And here we go. This is game. This happens to Wong every week. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's... Every like... single time. Poor Vincent It's Wong. like someone's testing him to see if he can still smile. Like... <laughs> Let's mess with Wong. He's just not allowed to play ever in the tournament. Someone on his team is always going to DC. They're just like, we're eventually going to break Wong. He's not going to smile anymore. <laughs> yeah, if you guys haven't caught a Vincent Wong stream, I highly recommend you all do. Because it's such a pleasure to see this guy. No matter how hard the games are. <gasps> Trill TKO is back! Oh, he's moving. Welcome back, yep. sir. And Sidhu still doesn't have a trinket. Sidhu still doesn't have a link. And Karma's available. I mean... If they want to play this like absolutely fair and be like, yeah, we waited for you. Can you wait for Trinket Link at least? It looks like they are. It looks like they are. Like, <laughs> have at least one thing to trade out for waiting because that would actually be terrible. If they just went right there, they literally had nothing to live. Yeah, yeah. That being said, it's getting closer and closer to dampening because of all this weight. And I really don't know who that benefits more. This WLS consistent pressure and control or the crazy amounts of burst pressure in the, the the training pressure that this Windwalker DK has. Trill TKO running in onto Sidhu. Sidhu pulling back into his dungeon. Trill TKO going to reconnect onto him. He does have that touch of karma available to him. He's taking a whole bunch of pressure. Lug Sleep goes oh. onto Sidhu. He's going to trinket out of it into the Fist of Fury. This Sidhu is on the run. Can he get the link off? He's got 20 seconds oh. until that link comes off. Trill TKO though dipping so, so low. He's he gonna portals on top of him. He portals on top of him. Vincent Wong looking for blood as well. But Valido in a lot of trouble in the back line. Catching that save by the lot. 
Sidu getting kicked by Trill TKO. Is this it for Sidu? Can he survive through this Windwalker monk? Sidu getting so, so close to that touch of death range. He's gonna get the ore master he heals off. Vincent Wong forced the bubble to keep his death knight alive. The Fist of Fury coming out on a Sidu. Lolito's gonna reconnect, but the trinket or the link is gonna come off a cooldown, saving him once again. Smexon now has his recklessness up. Lolito catching a bop to save his life from Vincent Wong right before that storm bolt, keeping him alive. And Lolito versus Jeff are still fighting their way in this. Sidu's gonna stone form out of Strangulate, but is it enough? He's on top of the pillar. Can he survive? He looks for the hex on the nick of time and Valido yes, goes yes. down because of the hex unbelievable the life sweep from Trill TKO wait, he's wait, not caught really counting it out yet with the fear from Snuts is going to save Sidu because of that the Fist of Fury to follow it up can Trill TKO solo Sidu can he do it he's going to reconnect onto him Vincent Wong healing himself through as much of this as humanly possible with the haunts connecting the double shadow fury as well Vincent Wong sitting on top of Sidu trying to get a kick but it doesn't matter down goes Trill TKO and Method's going to take game number two here on Ruins of Lordaeron. Woo! That was insane. There was like some insanely fast bops coming out from Vincent Wong right before CC hits to sur to let his Death Knight survive. Um, and it came down to the wire, man. The peels from Method are unbelievable. Snuts is fierce. Saved Sidu so many times. Great job by these guys in their team synergy to survive that. But we're going to be going into game three here very, very shortly, everybody. Oh man, I feel like I—I I don't know what you really want to dark sim against this comp. Like, is it, I mean, dark simming UA could be really good to put on CD so he can't dispel Soul Reaper without getting silenced. Um, I guess maybe even just stealing a fear and throwing that on onto Snuts. Like, it seems like Snuts is going for a really CC heavy game, so it'd be pretty easy, I think, to to snag a fear every once in a while from him and then put it on Snuts himself and. You'd either take a global from Sidu dispelling or tremoring it, or you would force Snuts to use a trinket or something like that. Um, I thought he was actually in so much danger when Trill portaled back on top of him, but they kind of left Valido behind. I don't know if Wong or had a freedom for him or something to try and help him connect, because if they were able to get uh, Valido there faster, I think Sidu would have gone down. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, Trill TKO connecting on his own was just doing so much and getting so much as well. But, uh, you know, also, if Alito does get off of him, I feel like the control is even going to be even harder for them to get out of uh, letting Snuts freecast and stuff. But, uh, I mean, they do have a lot of outs and they're trading these outs very, very quickly. So I don't know how much... Uh, how much more CC and how much more DRs that are available to peel them off of the Shaman. So, I don't know. On Ruins of Lord, I, I really did expect these these two DK as well as the Windwalker Monk to just train Sidu into the ground. I, I really didn't see the split strategy on there, but Sidu, uh, the peels from the WLS is pretty crazy. And not only that, but the Avatar from Smexin forces these guys' defenses pretty consistently. Thing is, now they have to decide like, do you want to risk Trill DC again? Is, mm. Can we run with Maldiva? What do we want to do? Because if he DCs again, there's no way. I, if I was CD's team, I wouldn't wait if they DC'd on the third game. Yeah. Um, that's because I'm a scumbag. So, <laughs> well, I don't know. It's it, would kinda... make sense, it would make sense to not wait on the third game if that happens again. Um, so it's really, I think it's up to Wong's team to say, yeah, you... Uh, Go shovel your sidewalk outside and then come back and see if you DC. <laughs> and then we'll play with Maldiva in the meantime. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they are down 2-0 at this point, so uh, I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, honestly, if I was in their position, I wouldn't risk it. I wouldn't risk the potential DC. I would try to figure something out with a different composition because, uh, you know, that's like one of the most, that's like the worst feeling ever is like to have that much momentum and then just DC. That's just like the worst. But at the same time, Method is doing a great job at surviving through a lot of the onslaught of this, of this double DPS or this double melee DPS uh, composition, and uh, we're going to find out. We're going to find out what it is that they're choosing. Apparently, the admin, let me know that they're, we're waiting on a map choice from Method. Um, Method, oh, I'm sorry, no, we're waiting on a map choice from Valido versus Jeff. Um, now, Runes of Lordaeron have been used as well as Nagrand Arena, so I'm assuming we're going to be going to a smaller map <laughs> once again. <laughs> Venruki's not on the bench. He's casting Blizzard on Trill's house. Oh my gosh. OP strats, man. OP strats. So. All right. The next map is going to be Tiger's Peak. And that's actually chosen by Valido versus Jeff, right? Yeah, it is. So if it's chosen by Valido versus Jeff, uh, maybe they don't want a super small map. Interesting choice. 
coming out from Valido versus Jeff, trying something else out. Maybe we will also see a different composition come out from them because of a map choice like that. Or maybe they just want Method to think there's a composition change coming out. Ooh, the mind games. But here we go, guys. It's Tiger's Peak. Money, Mike! Welcome to Tiger's Peak. It's Method versus Alito versus Jeff. Game number one of this best of five series, and we do see Maldiva enter the uh, enter Tiger's Peak. And you know, I'm trying we to think money of the name. Mike versus Snuts Money. Oh, it's Snuts Money versus Money Mike. How many Mal coins does Snuts have? Uh, you know, I I don't I don't know. I'm gonna be honest with you, but uh, information. Shadow Cleave versus WLS man. Melee, Warlock Caster, Healer. Interesting. Very interesting. I have no idea who actually has the composition advantage here. I mean, the consistent pressure from Valido and Maldiva seem to be quite good, but the control from the Warrior might be better. And then we also have Sidu on the Shaman and Vincent Wong on the Paladin. Oh, I like that gateway Maldiva's getting. They want to be the aggressors with the DK on their team. That's going to allow them to escape if they need to do it. Valido charging in, gripping C2 into line. Maldiva's actually going to portal back. Smex is going to leap back to Valido with that Recklessness Avatar, just chopping through that AMS like it's butter. Uh, Vincent Wong caught into that storm, but Valido could be in trouble here as any magic shell has fallen. He's trying to get out of line of sight here. <laughs> as Snuts was free casting quite a bit. Um, uh, Maldiva trying to fake cast the counter spells there. I think he ate one on that UA. Unfortunately, now getting bursted down by Smex and down to 23, down to 14, down to the execute range, barely going down there. He's going to soul burn out another fell hunter he wants to get another interrupt onto snuts for this next dark soul maldiva popping his own dark soul see getting gripped in into the fist of justice these are the swaps that valido's team needs to do fully dotted by maldiva hond is up drain soul is just chunking see he's forced to trick it out of that strangulate drop the spirit link to stabilize his team here but now his team is going to rot down here's the second dark soul up from snuts looking to reverse the pressure he gets a full fear over onto vincent wong he locks maldiva out maldiva just getting torn apart by smex and into that shadow for your son maldiva's going to trick it out how can he survive he portals out a line of sight but snuts is, snuts is just tearing him apart smex and leaps in for that storm ball. Vincent Wong is forced to trinket. Dark regeneration up as well, but Maldivas are taking so much damage. At the same time, Valido is just soloing snuts at the moment and now gripping Sidu in. Can Vincent Wong get that Hodge? That next Hodge could be the kill on Sidu if he's able to get there. Absolutely. Sidu's feeling the pressure, man. The Haunts connect onto him as well as Valido with his Pillar of Frost, chunking him down to 30%. He doesn't have another Spirit Link available to him. Smex is going to oh pull my. back to make sure that he is available for it, but Snuts taking ah. a bunch of pressure as well. Hodge goes out onto Sidu. Can he survive through this? No trinket available to him, and Snuts is getting swapped to a whole bunch of damage onto him, and just look at the rot pressure of both of these teams. The, it's just non-stop. Maldiva getting Stormbolt up from Smex, and defensively, he still has that av avatar for just a few short seconds, and Valido feels it. Dipping down to 50% healthier, but he's just not letting off on this blue. This blue is his kill target, and he will not let him go. But it looks like he's not going to overextend too, too far for now. Smexin, as soon as he just touches someone, he does so much damage. Valido dipping down to 40% health there. Vincent Wong forced to use the wings execute, but there's a storm bolt to follow it up onto Vincent Wong, forcing the AMS. Valido's got to be careful. Every single time Smexin connects to something, it just, their health bar shrink instantly. Snuts feeling the pressure as well, dipping down to 40%. Sidu still in the back line. He actually gets here it is! In. Here it is! The whole Hodge. Oh, is he going to survive? The double Shadow Fury out from Snuts. The fears on the Valido to peel Sidu into the full Strangulate. He's going to stone form, but he stone forms the UA off. Maldiva instantly dots him again. Soul Reaper might trigger. He's Hellstone. He drops the link to try and stay out of Soul Reaper range. That's the last defensive cooldown for Sidu here. He's going to gateway. Vincent Wong caught into the fear. Valido forced to AMS. Valido doesn't want to give up the chase. Just marching at Sidu. He wants to finish him off. Switching over to Snuts. Gripping Sidu into the center of the map. Maldiva's Dark Soul is up. He's doing a lot of pressure right now. At the same time, Vincent Wong is forced to bubble out of the Storm to heal his team. Both teams rotting down hard. Snuts and Maldiva doing so much damage, but Maldiva getting locked out. Snuts free casting here for a few moments. Uh, now Maldiva's lockout is over. He's looking to load up some full dots. If Valido can grip Sidu into that Hodge again, he might go down here. He's got Trinket for it. Uh, his grounding Tone comes down. Sidu's going to dispel some dots. He's trying to stay out of line of sight of Vincent Wong, but Vincent Wong is charging forward. He's got that Fist of Justice ready and waiting. Full Fist of Justice. Sidu forced to Trinket immediately out of that. Maldiva rotting down here. He's going to portal back. Smex and leaps on top of him. Dark Regeneration comes up from Maldiva. Full Hex on Vincent Wong's Trinket. 
it. He has no way to get out of this. How is Maldiva going to stay alive? At the same time, everyone is rotting on Method's side. Maldiva gets the bomb, but he gets locked out. Pillar of Frost comes out. Strangling comes out from Valido. He's looking to take Sidhu down. Soul Reaper is going to trigger here. Any second, Sidhu dispels it at the last second, barely keeping himself alive here at 40% HP. Maldiva trying to solo snuts in the meantime. He's down below half. Sidhu should be able to recover. Smexen lands a full fear. There's no AMS for Valido. Smexen can connect. Maybe he could finish him off. Uh, Valido pay playing it patiently and actually cutting Smex in there really well done playing defensive there for Valido to stay alive as both teams kind of stabilize. Oh my gosh, stabilize indeed, but so close for both of these teams. Snut taking a bit of the pressure. The grip onto Sidu. Can they follow it up with the Hodge? Is it up yet? Sidu has no trinket available to it. He does have that spirit link. He might use it preemptively. He's known for being able to have the presence of mind to use it preemptively. Valido just wants to go in. Or oh, AMS is gonna come out, but Smex him with his avatar is telling him to get away from his shaman. There's a storm bolt onto Vincent Wong. Valido on the back foot. Smexen's got to be careful as well, though. But he's just running in. The Hex lands out onto Vincent Wong. Smexen with his avatar is going to fade as well. The Horrify from Maldiva is going to get him off him for now. Valido with his Pillar of Frost is forced back as well. But look at both of these teams. It could definitely go either way. Looking at the defensive cooldowns, Sidu still has that Trinket Link available oh. to him. But here's the Hodge. He Here can't drink it out of it. Smexen trying to peel Valido off him, but is it going to be enough? Oh. The Mount is even coming in as well. Hodge connecting this. There's the Spirit Link coming out. The double Shadow Fury, however, the Demon Soul from Maldiva has so much momentum right now. Can Method survive through it? We're at 2% dampening at this point. It's going to get harder and harder for Method to heal through it. There's the Silence going out on a CDU. He's going to stone form out of it. Snuts is in trouble, though. 20% healthier. Haunt's connecting on him as well as the Denounces. He's forced to use that regen, but deeper into dampening, it's going to be harder and harder for him to heal through. CDU getting gripped now. Shadow Fury and Vincent Wong. Can Snuts follow it up with a fear? He gets the full fear. The Recklessness from Smex, and they're trying to turn it around. They're trying to kill Valido. Is Valido going to go down? The Saber of the Light's going to proc. He's trying to connect onto Sidu. Sidu at 50% health now. He can't reconnect onto him and overextend at the same time. Vincent Wong leaves the CC. Valido's going to catch a lot of heals, but Smexen's avatar is back up and ready to do work, and Maldiva is once again on the run. Yep, Pillar of Frost is available for Valido. Fist of Justice is up, but Sidu has his trinket. Looks like they're going after Smexen. He's got to be careful. They're going to grip Sidu into that Fist of Justice. He's going to trinket and dispel the dots off of Smexen. Smexen gets Shadow Fury there. He's going to trinket right away. They're all rotting down here. Sidu does not have Ascendance to deal with the pressure. He's got no more links. He's got no cooldowns remaining. At the same time, Vincent Wong's Avenging Wrath is coming up. Valido's team is going to have a lot of pressure. They still have trinkets. They have Dark Regeneration. They have AMS. All they have to do is march at Sidu. I think they're going to be able to finish him off. Maldiva's trying to get some dots on the snuts, get some dots on the Smex and maybe look for a soul swap. Uh, maybe they can grip Sidu out into the open. Vincent Wong playing very far back. There's the Avenging Wrath. They're going to charge immediately over onto Valido, but Vincent Wong should be able to keep his team very stable with his Avenging Wrath. They need to play offensive here. Sidu has nothing left. Smexen has nothing left. He's going to pop that regen heal. Will it be enough to stay alive here? Vincent Wong moving forward for that Fist of Justice to look to end the game. They're going to use the Strangulate first instead, and the Fist of Justice should follow it up. Riley Cry comes up. Soul Reaper is up. It's going to trigger. Will it be enough to finish him off? It's not going to be. Vincent Wong, though, maybe overstaying his welcome, forced to bless him protecting himself out of that storm bolt. Sidu purges that bop off right away. Now the Avenging Wrath is faded. Vincent Wong is running out of cooldowns, but the entire team of Method is below 30%. How much longer can Sidu keep this up? He's going to gateway back. Snuts is running down. Smex is running down. Maldiva should be able to finish off Smexen down at 7%. Snuts down at 7%. Somehow still alive. 2%, 7%, 8%. Link comes down. It's not going to do anything, but how is Sidu clinging on to life right now? Full Hodge is going to finish the game, playing it out to the absolute bitter end to stay alive. Unfortunately, Valido versus Jeff is going to claim victory in game number three, bringing this series back and not getting clean sweeped. Not getting clean sweeped indeed. Taking the, taking the game at 16% dampening and a very convincing, a very convincing game from both of these teams. Unbelievable plays. I mean, the consistent pressure that you guys have to heal through. The hexes, the shears, the groundings, as well as the hodges and the presence of mind to get around those groundings uh, following up with the grips. Crazy plays coming out from both of these guys. We're going to be jumping into game number four here very, very shortly. I can't wait. Oh, my. I, I really I have no idea. This is the best kind of series when you just have no clue who is going to win the entire Holy series. Holy cow, damage. I saw someone point that out, then I looked at the scoreboard. He doubled, like, everybody. 12 million damage. Money Mike doing work. You know, this is, like, their bread and butter. Maldita. He actually did, like, them combined. <laughs> This is the, he did this, Smexen and Snuts combined. What? This is where Maldiva shines, man. I'm telling you, he is the king of damage. He really is. We've seen it time and time again. He plays with those Shadow Cleaves, and it's just so much pressure. 
But I, I don't know. The Smexion, every single time he pops that avatar, he just forces people defensive no matter what class you are. Oh, my. I mean, Snuts was playing a, a, a more of a different strategy. It wasn't kind of triple dotting. I wonder if that kind of bit them in the foot a little bit. Um, he was looking for a lot of Shadow Fairy fears on Vincent Wong. I think that's good, like, when, when he has cooldowns, like Trinket or Bubble or Avenging Wrath. But as soon as he's, like, running out of cooldowns, I think, like, the Paladin's weakness is dealing with triple spread pressure. So if you're, if you're not dotting him right he's able to just keep beacon on one guy and heal the other guy he doesn't need to really worry about rotting down so i, I wonder if um snuts's team is going to play for more of a, a triple dot strategy after the opener i definitely think in the opener it's good to leave people kind of open to getting feared you can get bait out a lot more trinkets that way um but then towards like a longer game like that i think eventually you start you need to start triple dotting yeah, no, I, I wholeheartedly agree, but the, the only thing that I feel might become an issue when you start triple dotting, especially because of Vincent Wong in Maldiva's positioning, as soon as the offensive cooldowns from Smexen, they both just always ran away. And uh, if you're going to, I mean, you could find the opportunities to triple dot, but if you're going to do it consistently, I feel like Sidu's going to come off of the pillar a little bit, and as soon as that happens, that might be really scary. So maybe we might even see a different composition coming out from Method. I mean, they'd have quite a bit of compositions available to them here in GPL Tournament number 5. Um, and that being said, Trill TKO might be out for commission. So uh, if they have multiple compositions available to them and they're only facing one, they get to choose what it is that they're facing. So we're waiting on a map choice from yeah, Method maybe, here at this uh, point. I wonder how well RMD would do. I know uh, C2's oh. been playing with Minoruki and Snuts on RMD, but... Um, DK Cleave seem to be kind of a, a good answer to RMD. They can just kind of run the Druid over like a semi-truck. And DKs have a lot of trinkets. Warlocks have a lot of trinkets to break CC. So maybe, I, I don't know. I, I wonder if the RMD would be good or not. I, d I just feel like strategically against them, they did really well early. Like the Shadow Fury Fears on Vincent Wong were really good early on. And then eventually at a certain point, I mean, Vong Wong was playing really far back too. Maybe he was doing that on purpose. He was playing really far back so he could avoid getting dotted and was just trying to make it really hard. Um, and it seemed like uh, Maldiva's strategy was to just try and solo Snuts or Smexen the entire game while it was Valido. Valido's job to try and solo Sidu, and they were splitting their damage the whole time. Um, but it looked really good for them early. Like, Maldiva was dipping so low, they were getting so many cooldowns, and then at a certain point, it kind of just evened out. And then they, Vincent Wong just was ahead by so much. He still had Bubble, he still had Trinket, he still had Wings. Like, he was really far ahead, and they were able to stay aggressive for so long because of it. So. I don't know, I, I, I would like to see maybe just more triple dot spread pressure after the opener um, yeah. from Method and then try and like overcome that. And I, I feel, I don't know, I feel like once you've survived the opener that maybe the WLS can be the aggressor. No, yeah, absolutely. Like, we saw the momentum that they got. You're you're talking about how much momentum Method got in that opener. If they're able to to maybe just stay in their face and continue that momentum and get more and more defensive cooldowns, maybe that's the advantage they need instead of bringing it out uh, throughout the game. I mean, this WLS composition against majority other comps usually has that late game advantage, but against this Warlock DK composition, as well as the Holy Paladin, it didn't seem nearly like they had nearly as much as an advantage in the late game as they had uh, against other compositions. So maybe they just need to ch uh, change up their, their strategy a little bit. Or, uh, But like I said, they have those other compositions available to them. And the reason why I say that is because there's a little bit of delay time being used by Method. So every single time that happens, I feel like it's either a thought process that's going down or a comp swamp that's going down. Um, but as I say that, I might be eating my words here because the queue has popped. And we're going to be jumping into game number four of this best of five series. And it will be played out on Dalaran Sewers. Dun, dun, dun. Welcome everybody to Dalaran Sewers. They're sticking to their guns. They're sticking to the WLS and this is their home base. Dalaran Sewers. We've seen time and time again this WLS just getting work done here. But is it going to be enough work to take down a DK Warlock Holy Paladin of Alito versus Jeff? Yeah, again, the opening pressure from the DK and the Holy Paladin even as well with Avenging Wrath damage is very scary. So Method needs to trade out cooldowns 
be prepared for that, survive it. And then as soon as they survive it, I, I would like to just see them go crazy. I mean, they did do that. It just seemed like after the game stabilized and went on for a long time that they kept with this CC strategy. I mean, CD was getting a lot of hexes on Wong, and they were sitting for the full duration, but they weren't getting a kill. So either maybe like the target selection was off a bit there. Uh, Stunt's actually portaling to avoid getting haunted for free there. He does trade his portal out, so he won't have it, but it seems like both teams are reluctant to push in. Obviously, this is Valido versus Jeff's last chance. If they're the aggressors, they could be at a disadvantage. Mexican and Stunt's are charging forward. They've got a, a game that they can afford to draw, so I would like to see them play a little bit more aggressive with it. Uh, Snuts and Smexen moving forward. Smexen landing a fear on Vincent Wong very early here. Uh, Snuts moving forward to try and get some dots. He does get Shadow Feared as he's walking in. Uh, full Storm Bolt on Vincent Wong. Avatar gets popped. Maldiva's the primary target. Mortal Strike crits huge on Maldiva, already down to half HP. Smexen ripping him apart. And we can already see Valido, though, targeting Sidu in the back line, just chasing after him, trying to force out some cooldowns on his own. Not going to overextend too far, actually. And now immediately going back over onto Snuts as Maldiva is running down incredibly fast here as Vincent Wong did get locked out. Now with that Avenging Wrath up, he should be able to stabilize. They need to go on the offense here. Maybe Valido can get a grip on a Sidu into the open. Snuts is going to portal back. Smexen in the center field. They're just forced to hit Smexen at the moment. They're actually Smexen just charging in. He does not care at all whatsoever. Avenging Wrath is going to be fading. And as soon as that Avenging Wrath is over, I'd really like to see them just go really aggressive on Wong. There's a Storm Bolt. They locked him out. So a little bit of an overlap on Wong there. And he will be able to survive through it. Snuts' Dark Soul is up. He's looking to try and make something happen here. But I think he got locked out on that fear. So his momentum slowing down a little bit here. Maldiva is going to portal back to avoid getting haunted himself now. Really uh, well well-timed portal to avoid that haunt. Snuts is still trying to get a haunt off onto Valido. He does um, he does get mind frozen on us, so Valido shutting down the rest of that Dark Soul. Snuts not able to get too much done. Uh, Sidu getting swapped over to by Valido, but Vincent Wong is into that storm. But did he ground the Hodge? He grounded the Hodge. He grounded the Hodge and got the Hex on the Vincent Wong, forcing the bubble. Sidu pushing in and getting work done, but now he's on the back foot. He's going to catch a huge heal, but Valido is not letting him get away with that for free. He's going to go ahead and just train him down, but Maldiva on the back foot is in a lot of trouble. Avatar coming out from Smexen and Maldiva Sable the Light is going to proc, but Snuts as well is in a lot of trouble at 30% health. You're catching some heals from Sidu. Sidu going to go ahead and dispel the UA off of Snuts and is still being trained by Valido as well, just running around this pillar over and over and over. And it's got to be frustrating for poor Valido. Can he reconnect onto the blue? He's not going to try any longer. He's going to swap over onto Snuts here, taking a bit of pressure. Maldiva, though, has not caught in a break from Smexen the Warrior. The damage from Smexen is just unbelievable. Bop onto Vincent Wong from that storm. Bolt. He's going to reconnect over on Maldiva, however. Maldiva forced to, to port back, but Sidu's in their face. Aura Mastery Hex is going to be interrupted by the Shadow Fury. Can he land it? The full Hex lands out on the Vincent Wong on his trinket. Maldiva. Maldiva's in trouble. He's running back, but the Haunts are connecting on him. He's rotting down slowly. Can he survive? Vincent Wong comes out of the Hex and catches the heal. And Smexen's in trouble! The die by the sword is forced, and Valido just smacking around Method on the back line. But now Valido is overstayed as welcome. Haunts connecting on to him. Stormbolt on to Vincent Wong. Say by the light a proc. Is it going to be enough? Charge stun to follow it up on the Vincent Wong. Valido in. Uh, Execute range. The Reckless is coming out. Uh, the Shadow Fury to peel it. Vincent Wong's Ore Master. He's going to top him. Now the Hodge on the Sidu. They smell blood, but they're turning it around onto him. Hot's connecting out on the Sidu. He's going to get to a pillar as soon as possible. Smexen's trying to turn it around with his Avatar, however. Maldiva still taking all the damage. The regen coming out. Uh, Vincent Wong being put into the Storm Bolt. The Demon Soul going to be fading here very shortly, but Sidu in their face is taking so so much damage from Valido. Who is going to fall first? I don't know. That Spirit Link isn't going to do too much. Isn't Maldiva though in execute range bops him at 5%. Valido, if he can stay alive, can take this game so easily. Maldiva just needs to get out of execute range. Vincent Wong gets locked out. He can't heal him. They're just running away from Smexen. Smexen's like, please, please, please come back. I just want to kill you. And Maldiva's just on the run. He's not going to go down. Valido just soloing Smexen at the moment here. Smexen's forced to gateway back defensively. And somehow Maldiva's going to survive there with that blessing protection. Snot's now getting swapped over to. Dipping dangerously low. Sidu's going to dispel his dots off. Try and stabilize his health bar a little bit. Valido Valido getting caught in that sun. Vincent Wong in the fear. He goes into the full hex out of the fear. Valido's AMS is up to try and stabilize here. Lava burst coming out from Sidu. They smell blood. They want Sidu's head on a platter. He's trying to get out of line of sight. Vincent Wong gets that execution sentence off. And now with this Avenging Wrath, they need to play aggressive. Pillar of Frost is coming up. Dark Souls coming up in 26 seconds for Maldiva. They could easily grip Sidu in, maybe just finish him off with a fist of justice. Smets is riding down. Smexen is riding down. They're trying to push in. Is this the right move? Vincent Wong is positioned so far away. Smets moving in, getting some dots up. 
Sidhu position very far back. He knows he's very vulnerable at the moment. Triple Shadow Fury out from Snuts. He's going to get locked out, though, by Valido's Mind Freeze. And there's the grip on the Sidhu. There's the Fist of Justice. He trinkets that right away. Snuts gets locked on the haunt. Is this going to be a link out from Sidhu? He's trying to hold on to it. Valido's just chasing after Sidhu right now. Is he going to keep going after him is the question. Smexen seems to be going after Maldiva relentlessly. Uh, Sidhu's going to gate away from Valido. Valido's forced to kind of just trot back to his team. Full fear on to Vincent Wong. He has his trinket. Is it the right move to sit the sphere is the question. Full Hex, he's forced to trinket. Stutz is in trouble as well. Uh, Maldiva down to 30%. Vincent Wong has no more blessing protections. Full stun. Swex is going to connect. His save by the light's going to proc. And somehow Maldiva is still hanging on to life. Oh, rallying cry coming up from Smexen. Belito and Maldiva are turning it around. Snuts in trouble. He's at 18% healthier, and the rallying cry is going to fade. Yeah, Belito reconnecting overall onto Snuts. Sidu desperately trying to heal him through it. The Aura Master heal is going to get him healed just in time, and Belito's still going to reconnect onto Snuts over and over and over again. But look at Sidu's mana. He can't do this forever. He is at 12% mana, and the triple dot from Maldiva. The haunt Seaver out onto Sidu as well. The avatar from Smexen. Can Method turn it around? We're at 6% dampening now at this point. Haunt over out onto Valido. Stormbolt onto Vincent Wong. Snuts and Smexen doing as much as they can oh. to get themselves into this game. Can Sidu keep his team alive in time? Avatar fading now. Smexen going to be doing a lot less damage. Snuts and Sidu are desperately trying to keep their team in it, keep everyone alive, and just do the consistent pressure they're so well known for. But Valido versus Jeff are looking so good as we move deeper and deeper into dampening, and Sidu's mana gets less and less. Yeah, Vincent Wong caught into a storm bolt, has no way to remove it. Full fear now onto Vincent Wong. Maldiva's gonna portal back. Uh, Smexen just leaping in, trying to reconnect, forced to hit Valido instead. Valido actually doesn't have very many defensive cooldowns himself. He's gonna use his gift of the Naru. Maldiva getting locked on that haunt. He could easily go down. He's got a 50%. Vincent Wong with no major healing cooldowns is forced to cast. He needs to top off Maldiva. Just casting over and over, trying to stop him off here. Sidu position very far back here. He knows he's got trinket coming up in about nine more seconds. Just needs to play it safe. He gets gripped in though. Maldiva though is still down below 40%. Full fist of justice. No Trinket for three seconds. Safeguard comes up from Smexen trying to reduce the rest of the damage. Strangulate still available. Full Strangulate. Sidu's just going to trinket out of that right away. Try and stabilize. Full fear on a Vincent Wong's aura mastery. He's forced to bubble now as well. Sidu still getting pressured in the back line. Snuts portals back to try and help him. Pops the Dark Soul trying to fear Valido off of Sidu. Trying to get a cast off here would be excellent for him. Sidu actually got a spectacular amount of mana. Must have he must sat have down drink, for a drink man. there. I don't know when, but, now, but he figured it out. And that's amazing because now he's back in this game at 14% dampening. And Valido and Maldiva are feeling the the pressure. Snuts' Dark Soul is going to be fading here. Oh, Maldiva in Kachink range! Jenny goes down! Method Orange survives long enough and takes the series 3 to 1. I'm assuming... There they are. They're going to go ahead and leave the arena, but that was so close! Sidu's drink, I feel, is a gigantic part of how they won. I don't know. He was oh, at man. like 10% mana there at some point, and he found an opportunity through all that pressure to get a drink. And because of that drink, man, he was able to keep his team back in into it. And, and there you have it. And able to outlast the DK Warlock Holy Paladin composition. You can tell that a lot of interrupts got landed when the Warlocks are on the bottom of the meter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. When the Warrior and the DK are on top, man, that means the Warlocks had no fun. No fun indeed. Oh my gosh. Alright guys, we're going to be getting into the next series here very shortly. But you know what that means. That means Method has moved on in this upper bracket. Knocking down Valido versus Jeff to that lower bracket. And now up next, we have Splice versus We Back. This is an anticipated game. This